morning. So I thought I'd film a worry in a day today because I haven't done one in ages and my diet's pretty much changed since the last time I'd done it. And also I've got lots and lots and lots of things to catch you up on. Um, mostly fitness updates. So obviously throughout the day, I'll just pop my camera on, have a little chit chat with you all. But right now I actually need to try my Gymshark um, clothes that I bought from the sale. It's only an outfit, so I'll quickly um, show you where I go and then I will go and make some breakfast. Yeah, I can't wait. I think I'm gonna have my oats and berries and stuff because that is bloody delicious for me. So I'm gonna open up my parcel and then I'm gonna try it on and then pop my shorts back on because I therefore didn't get shorts in these sales which I'm kind of regretting because it's boiling out. I've literally, I don't think you can tell the difference, but, I, but yeah, you can actually. I burnt this arm because I went to Tenby for the weekend and I drove home. Stupid me didn't put any sun cream on. So I burnt the one side because I was driving with the window down. Great game. <laughs> so, oh, I'm so excited to try this. I really hope I ordered the right thing. Kind of had, um, gym outfit in sport megan i think it's meg meg fit that's her name on instagram anyway but it's meg her name is oh, i don't know what i was trying to say then <laughs> but oh my god I, I did i think i did get the right one i also got a cap as well which i probably wear to the gym tonight and i never ever wear um hats so i'm just hoping it looks decent on me so I have to get a camo because I'm obsessed with camo but last time I ordered from Gymshark I got a size small and it was really bad decision on me because they're too um, stretchy around the waist and I've got quite a small waist so I've decided to go for the extra small but I'm just worried about like the bum scrunch at the back but just that's, that's such a cute bum scrunch just look at the that's delicious, that colour is. I just love a good red, but it's more like a pinky red, I want to say. And then I got the top for you. So excited to try this outfit already. And then just a basic sports bra then. I haven't ordered from Gymshark literally since last summer, but I'm just hoping everything goes with everything but, and then use the hat obviously i'm gonna put my hair in a bobble for it but i don't know even don't even know if i look decent with a hat on well there's something to cover your face when you can't be bothered to talk to other people isn't it quite a cute hat actually don't want that on there take the stupid sticker off quite nice actually. I don't know why I don't wear these more. <laughs> so I'm gonna pop this on and I'll show you what it looks like on because I'm very excited but then I'm also gonna just jump back in this because it's boiling out today. I might take a walk to Sainsbury's or Tesco like that and try and go and find Fuel 10 granola if you have heard of that. It's um basically just high protein granola i don't even think it's that high protein but apparently it's delicious um i just watched megan grubb's youtube video and she had it so i think i'm going to try and find the chocolate one because i'm if, all of you know me if you know then i'm a chocolate and a chocolate so nice to meet you <laughs> right i will go and pop these clothes on because i've been saying for the last two minutes i'm going to go and try her on so two seconds
so i've just tried on the gym outfit it's really nice um bum looks great in it because of the bum scrunch sports bra is just a basic one and the hat i'm obsessed i think i'm gonna have to buy more um but i'm just popping on here to say that i'm gonna have an hour or two just chilling out now so i might go outside and sunbathe for a bit because it's bloody gorgeous outside oh <laughs> breakfast is coming back up <laughs> but i'm gonna get have a few hours because that breakfast filled me right up um and then i'm gonna walk over to sainsbury's which will take like 10 minutes go and try and find that granola if i can't i can't never mind wherever i'll just have normal granola with high protein yogurt and berries for lunch maybe and then i'll come back and then i will talk to you more about what's been happening and everything else yeah i'm just so excited to tell you everything because i haven't spoken to you guys in actually it's gonna be at least a month i haven't sat down and had a proper chat chat in ages so i will see you in a few seconds <laughs> Hey guys, so I've just got back from a little walk. I also went to Sainsbury's just to pick up bits and bobs. Um, I told you earlier that I was going to go just for um, granola. Never believe a woman when they say they're just popping out for one thing. Just telling you, because it's never just one thing. We always pop in and see everything that we actually want. So we just pick everything up. Half of the stuff I actually didn't even need. So, I thought I'd do a little food haul for you guys. Just give you some, I don't know, inspo for some food. So I haven't tried this ice cream yet. It's going to be back to front for you guys. But it's basically, I think it's quite new. It's Alpro Passionate Mango Swirl. Quite a nice name. But I thought I'd pick this up and see if it's nice, only because I am lactose intolerant. So I'll see if this one works better for me and see if it actually tastes nice. Because if it does, then I'm swapping from Halo Top and anything like that to Alpro. Because you go, it shouldn't really eat any Halo Top because the belly goes. So next, boring, just got some spinach. Just pop in my salads to make it a little bit more. Um, this one is one of the best diet hacks ever. Options are chocolate. Belgium chalk flavour is honestly one of the best ever. But I did buy this the other day. A different flavour. Hello, I'm back. There, she's back. I bought the... I accidentally picked up salted caramel. Um... It's the worst tasting thing ever. It literally tastes like green tea to me. Never pick a salted caramel flavour up because this is definitely just going straight in the bin now because I don't want to waste calories on stuff that I don't like in the bin. So, next we go. They didn't have the other flavours, but I just go chicken. Chipolatas, heck chicken. They're just quick and easy just to throw on a salad. And they're really low in calories, so if you want, to, if you're on a deficit or anything like that, great buys. Um, oh, I see my PT client in Sainsbury's, and she had these in her basket, so I thought that looks delicious. So I'm gonna pick myself up one. There's chorizo potatoes. This just sounds divine. If you love chorizo and potatoes, and if you don't, what are you doing with your life? <laughs> um, yeah. Seems pretty good calories. Half a pack is 165 calories, so that's not even that bad. So if you even had the full thing, it wouldn't be bad at all. It'd be like 400 and something calories. No, less than that, isn't it? Less than 400 calories for the whole pack, and that's quite big. So you could have like a salad with that. Oh, I can't wait to try these. Don't think I can have it tonight, because I think I've got a cooked dinner. 
but oh, I might have this for salad and then leave the cooked dinner for tomorrow. Don't know what I'm thinking yet. Depends how heavy this leg session's gonna be. And um, if you've been here for a while, you know I have to get different cheeses, so I thought I'd just get the quick and easy um, grated one. I feel like I'm gonna have end of Adam needs tonight. This cheese on top and some salad on the side. This is gonna be delicious, I just know it. So, last thing, but definitely not the least favourite, because I've literally walked all the way down to Sainsbury's, told everyone I was only gonna buy this one thing, and then came back with all of this. So did find it in the end. So the person that told me that it was day didn't lie. So fuel 10k. I'm really excited to try this. Might even just like have a bowl with um, milk in just to see. So it's apparently got added vitamins into a high fibre and chunky clusters. So can't really go wrong with it, can you? Um, it's pretty decent for calories. It's, so per portion is what's the portion sizes again what do they say so like 40 grams or 50 grams oh 50 grams um it's 220 calories which isn't bad and then protein is 7.8 so it's not high high in protein but it still does the job so i will have to do a little review on there probably on my instagram so if you're not following my instagram it is shona.gibbon no, it's not. That was my hotmail. I was going to say my email then. <laughs> it is Shona Given and Scope PT. So I think that's right. I'll have to leave it by you. I've completely forgot my Instagram. Like, what is wrong with me? So I've had my breakfast literally about an hour ago. I don't know why I walked all that way with a full belly because I'm still really full and my belly hurts right now. <laughs> so I can give it a couple of hours. Probably it's two o'clock now I'm probably gonna have food around half three because I've got a client then again at half four and then go gym and then I might show you my workout let's see how busy the gym is first but I probably will just do quick snippets of it um yeah and then later on I'll talk to you some more about other things that are happening so out. Oh my god, I'm literally so awkward. Right, I'll see you in a few seconds. So, I've just had my lunch and all my days. Those chorizo potatoes were amazing. So, Ellie, if you're watching this, thank you for introducing them because they were delightful i couldn't get that word out then it was very slow but they were delightful so thank you very much um i popped some hex ostriches with it just to up the protein and then i also had some of my lactose free cheese so that was delicious so i thought i'd sit down and have a little chit chat with you guys about i'm so out of breath i literally just ran up the stairs i don't know what's wrong with me <laughs> um but I thought I'd have a little chit chat about any like fitness updates and everything that I need to tell you. So, a bit exciting, but I've actually invested in myself and I've got a coach now. So, I'm very excited about this because I know exactly what I need to do to lose weight and, you know, look better. <laughs> but, your girl has the struggle of you know not sticking to it <laughs> so basically i've just got laura her name is she's off instagram and she's absolutely lovely um so i decided to go with her because she's just amazing i've seen all of her clients results and everything i was just like do you know what? she's a lovely person and also she's a good coach so do you know what? i'm gonna invest in myself and just do it i've never had a coach in my life which is strange to say because a lot of good coaches have had coaches so I thought you know it's time to just I'm really tight with some some stuff towards money like because I know what I'm doing I'm like why do I need to spend this money but it's for accountability so every week I'll have check-ins with her which will keep me 100% motivated 
motivated and determined to just stick to it I've got that one person that's always you know giving me all these tips advice everything um if I'm being stupid uh, about certain things I can just text her and she'll just tell me to be like Shauna chill out you're fine <laughs> so um yeah I've literally so th it's Monday today and then th Thursday will be a full week I've been um I can't speak doing the diet so she set my calories um because what I was doing before I was basically eating less in the week so I could have more on the weekends but that didn't actually work so I didn't stick to it um so she's at my calories and I just gotta stay at them set calories for all the way through the week so I basically they're quite high for <laughs> ca um calorie deficit they are really high which scares me a little bit but then I think no I was eating more when I was trying to like eat less in the week and then eat more on the weekends I was eating more than I was meant to and it just didn't work for me so I'm glad I've actually reached out and invested in myself and got a good coach um yeah so I'm probably going to be having weekly check-ins from now which is scary but your gal gotta do what she gotta do <laughs> but I'm hoping to lose about well I'm nine stone two now so I've lost seven pounds since Christmas on my own but I just need that extra push now. Um, so I'm hoping to get down to 8 stone 10. 8 stone, yeah, 8 stone 10. That's my comfy weight. So I feel lean and happy. Well, to be honest with you, I've, whenever I've hit that, I've been eating quite little calories. So hopefully this time around with a co good coach, I'll be able to get down and still be on decent calories. Um, but it's not far to go. I've got three months with Laura now, which is super exciting because I think we're going to cut really um, slowly and then once I've hit like my weight and my aim that I wanted to get at, she'll also reverse diet me then so I'll be building up my calories and hopefully I will look good. <laughs> um, but I've also started the training program today so I'm starting it later on. Um, I've done little few changes to her because she said that she's done it for me the way she wants but obviously she some of the exercises that I, I've been trying to um at my weight on is not on the program so I've just tweaked it a little bit and just added the exercises like sumo deadlifts into my leg days just because I want to keep working on them doesn't mean the program's not designed right for me it is it's just i want that extra exercise i'm just really um picky with my training split but at the she's picked for me so going off like my progress pictures she's seen she's um decided to give me five days a week which i've said i wanted to do five days instead of anymore because five days just perfect for me um and it's going to be three leg days so one glutes and quads and then the other one is uh, just glute focused and the last one is hamstrings and glutes um i think i'm doing the quad and glutes tonight with my boyfriend and yeah um the upper body days then she's added more back into every workout i think it's because i'm so so tiny on the upper body my back isn't completely where I want it to be so we're going to be doing chest back and tries and then shoulders back and biceps I gotta say so it's pretty exciting stuff um I'm just excited to see how my body will look in a couple of weeks I know it'll take time patience and consistency as I always tell all of you guys I just need to listen to it to myself yeah, so I've got a coach, I've got a new training program, a different split. Um, my diet is still wherever fits your calories type of thing. But what I'm trying to do at the moment is try and pick the healthier options, if you get me. Like, I'm trying to get put more veg, more fruit, instead of, oh, um, a chocolate bar can fit my calories. I'll add that instead of a 
fruit bowl or something like that but what I'm trying to do now is have the fruit bowl instead it's just to clean up my diet a little bit just make me feel healthier but obviously if there's the same calories and I am really craving a chocolate bar like this week um, I'm on my you know time of the month so the week before I came on I was craving loads of chocolate and I never went over my calories once but obviously I was allowed the chocolate bar if I wanted one which is really good so it doesn't cause any like restricting and binging problems like I used to have when I was younger so I wouldn't say it was like a restrict binge disorder type thing but I would do that to try and lose bit weight when I was younger so that's what Laura's trying to stop happening again type thing so I'm just really happy and really motivated at the moment so that's why I thought I'd pop the camera on and just tell you all because I haven't been feeling motivated as I have right now type thing for a long time so it's just taken a while to get back into lockdowns have just you know messed up with everyone's motivation so just got to give a little bit of you know leeway with stuff like that so I bet you as soon as this three months are over with Laura I'll be my head will be right back on track <laughs> um if I need a little bit more time Laura then I will but honestly I am very high hyper <laughs> happy i was meant to say and excited to see the results to be honest with you so i've just said my food i've got a client at half four now and i think it's dead on four o'clock so i'm going to give myself some chill time and then after that i think me and the boyfriend are going to head to the gym get a leg session done and i think i might it's always busy on a monday obviously because everyone thinks Monday motivated hee <laughs> hee um that's me literally right now I just am excited to go and train some legs so I after my client probably six o'clock I'll head to the gym um I'll have to fo um what am I trying to say for god's sake I'll probably film the workout on my phone so it's probably not going to be the best quality ever but I'm still too nervous to take this camera to the gym for two reasons one people stay and then I always think that they're staring at me so I freak out so I'm not gonna do that um and then because if you film on your phone it's kind of like you can be like if they ever ask you and just be like oh, I'm filming it for like um to check my form or something <laughs> but if you've got a full-on vlogging camera they kind of know what you're doing and it's just like are they talking about me <laughs> um and then the second reason is because it's an expensive vlogging camera and I don't really want to drop a weight on it so I get too scared to take it to the gym which is totally understandable understandable is that the right word is that the right word but yeah so I will see you in the gym and then later again then for my dinner so nice to have a little catch up I'm hoping that every week now so every other week maybe that I'll be doing a little what I eat in a day just because I know you all like seeing what I eat <laughs> I'm like that I love watching YouTube so what I eat in a day it's just chill vibes isn't it right I shall see you in a few seconds woohoo <laughs>
So, leg day has been done. Had my dinner and also had some ice cream because it is still boiling. Just jumped in the shower. My skin is still really sore, but it's fine. Hopefully it'll go brown tomorrow, it usually does. But I've actually really enjoyed filming what I eat in a day today and catching up with all you guys. So I'm really glad if you stuck around till the end because sometimes I can get a little bit boring. <laughs> um, yeah, so that is all I've got to update you on with my fitness and my diet, obviously. And yeah, that was a really intense leg day. So if you try it out, comment down below if you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.